Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another theme from the Lolita 51 challenge. And today I'm going to be um, showing you guys coordinates for a whole week that will fit into a small backpack or a small suitcase. In this case, this is the bag I'm going to be using. This is my um, bag that I used when I'm traveling um, when I studied abroad. This is the REI. I believe it's a 20 liter like travel backpack and it opens in the front which is really nice because it allows for easy access. Um, I laid out all the coordinates that I made with what I put in this backpack and took pictures of them so I will insert pictures um, I guess as I go along or at the end of this video I haven't quite decided yet but I'll insert the coordinate pictures somewhere in this video and I'll show you guys all what I put into this backpack for a whole week. Um, the, the the topic said um, outfits for a whole week and I wasn't sure if that meant five days or seven days so I did seven days um, so yeah I'm just gonna start with the two things that I didn't manage to fit into the backpack but you're gonna have to wear clothes anyway so two things I didn't manage to fit are shoes and I um, used two shoes for a whole week and um, the first ones are these ones this is the and Jug pretty enamel Chelsea ribbon shoes in brown um, and the other one is this bag. This is a silver bag. It's a heart-shaped biscuit bag. Um, and these are the two items I couldn't fit. So I figured you could probably just carry this bag and wear those shoes. I think the key to coordinating outfits for a whole week using the same items is to pick colors that go together and um, things that can mix and match. So I went with a lot of browns and pinks. So yeah, let's get started. Um, the first thing you need for a whole week of Lolita coordinates, of course, is a petticoat. And I managed to squish this one in there. Um, in case you guys are wondering how I fold my petticoats when I travel, I flip them inside out. It's the same as how I would do it if I'm sewing them. I flip them inside out, and then I fold it once, one way, one time in halfway, and another time halfway, like this. And then I kind of squish it down and I roll it. Um, I have also used vacuum bags where you can like suck all the air out. Um, I have used those too and they do work pretty well. So that's how I do. Um, so the first thing would be the pencil. Let's go through accessories. Since I chose brown and pink as my colors for my coordinates, I took a lot of brown or a lot of like neutral pink and pink accessories. I would have chosen brown accessories but I don't really have any. So the first thing, um, I chose is this beret. I um, handmade this. I crocheted this myself, but any kind of a neutral tone beret would work. And I chose this beret because I can um, switch out what like accessories I want to attach to it really easily to match different outfits. So that's the first accessory I brought. Um, and some of the other accessories I brought is this little pink ribbon that has like little lace details. This little pink tiara. Um, with like a little, little pink frills. Um, the head bow that goes with Sweet Cream House because that's one of the prints that I chose. Last but not least, this just very ordinary ivory bow that will go with just about anything. Um, okay, so those are the accessories I chose. Um, the second pair of shoes that I chose is um, these just pair from, these are just like an off-brand pair from um, Singapore. These are like one of my favorite pairs and you guys have probably seen this before, but just these. And then the second bag is the Kuma Kumya Chan Boshet from Baby Star Shine Bright. And now on to the three JSKs that I picked. I picked um, actually, I picked two jumper skirts and an apron skirt. Um, I decided to go with jumper skirts instead of like OPs because you can do more with them. You can change out the blouses. I went with the apron skirt because you can wear it as an apron skirt or just as a skirt. So it, gets, it lets you do more there. So the first jumper skirt I picked is this one by Baby. And I picked this one because it's brown. And um, the skirt can be a bell shape. So all the dresses I picked um, go with a bell shaped petticoat well. So I don't have to bring two petticoats, just one. I picked this one because um, I can do a lot with 
it. It's brown and there's also pink details in it, so I can match it with pink, with both pink and brown, um, my blouses and accessories, and of course the white too. So this is the first jumper skirt I picked. The second one is the Sweet Cream House apron skirt. This is by Angelic Pretty, and I also picked this because it is um, like a pink and brown theme, so it can go with everything that I draw. Last one is um, the Royal Chocolate Low Waist GSK. Um, this is like I think the 2012 release. Um, but yeah, I also picked this. Obviously, you can see my theme now. It's pink and brown, so that's why I picked this one. For blouses, I brought two blouses and one bolero. Um, the first blouse is this brown blouse by, Doug, er, by Alice in the Parrots. It's a short sleeve blouse that go that can go potentially with all three of these um, main pieces. Um, and you can mix and match with this really well. You can see in the pictures later on um, how I coordinated them. Um, the second blouse is a long sleeve white AP blouse. And while it's a very universal color, it goes with everything. Um, and I like that it's long sleeve too, in case you know one day it's colder or something. And then the last thing is a bolero. It's this pink bolero. And I chose a bolero because it takes up less space than a blouse. And um, it also allows for different co coordinations for something different than just a blouse. It gives you a different look. Temper socks. Um, I grabbed three pairs. I grabbed this white pair with lace at the top. Um, I grabbed this um, pink pair also with like an off-white lace at the top. And my Sweet Cream House OTJs. Um, so yeah, those are the three pairs of socks. Um, obviously you can also wear like or bring solid color tights, white, brown, etc. Um, it'll go with all of these. I'm just going to show you guys really quick how I fold my clothes when I put them in to my backpack. Um, I like to roll my clothes because they take up less space. That way for blouses what I would do is I would fold them in half like this. And if there were sleeves or long sleeves I would fold them in and then I would roll them like this. So this way it takes up the least amount of space possible. The same for the bolero. I would just fold it in half. And then kind of tuck the sleeves in. In this case, since it's longer, I'd fold it up like this too. And then I would fold it. And as for the jumper skirts, these are a little bit different depending on the jumper skirt. For this low-waisted jumper skirt, I actually have to fold the bodice backward like this and then fold it in half this way with the detachable bow inside because I don't want anything to kind of tug at it. And then you just kind of roll it. For this, I actually like to roll it lengthwise. Like this. And you can stick it into your suitcase. Um, and for um, skirts or apron skirts, the apron skirt, I, the apron part I'll fold it in and then fold it halfway and then roll it like this. And this, for full length jumper skirts like this, I fold the bodice backward or forward depending. I'm going to fold this one forward because there is a bow in the front for here. And I'm going to fold it in half like this. And I'm just going to roll it like this. And then you just kind of stick it in. I've traveled um, quite a bit with my dresses and I find that rolling them is a lot better than folding them because um, when you fold clothes, there tends to be a crease there, whereas if you roll them, there's no really defined crease, so you don't have to worry too much about, you know, creasy dresses. Um, another thing is rolling your dresses make them take up a lot less space, which is really helpful if you're trying to fit a lot into a small amount of space. Hey guys, so I decided to insert the pictures here at the end for you guys to see too. I hope you enjoy these coordinates. Obviously, you could probably do more with the items but this is just how I decided to coordinate this. Hope you guys enjoy! So 
that is everything that I would bring in my backpack, a small backpack or suitcase, for coordinates for a week. Um, this was definitely an interesting challenge to do. I had to definitely think, and this is probably one of the most time consuming videos I've made because I had to lay out all the outfits and take pictures of them. I hope this video was helpful for you guys and entertaining. If you guys want to do this video too, I totally think you should and you should link it down below. I would love to see how you guys coordinate outfits for a whole week and fit it into a backpack this is definitely a challenge. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!